In France, the trial continues of those accused of complicity in the 2015 terror attacks on a kosher supermarket in Paris. The man who murdered four people in that store was shot dead by police at the time. Hostages trapped in the shop during the siege are taking to the stand this Tuesday, including the store's former cashier, who's since moved to Israel. Let's cross now to Catherine Norris-Trent, who's covering the trial. Catherine, there's been some very moving testimony in court today from witnesses, including the cashier. Just give us a sense of what uh, they've been saying. Yeah, Annette, it was an absolutely chilling and heart-wrenching testimony in court as this trial has been hearing in detail just how that deadly siege inside the Ipekesher kosher supermarket passed off on the 9th of January 2015. We've been hearing a first-hand account of that from the young woman who was then uh, a cashier inside the store at the time and saw it, as she put it, from beginning to end. At one point, she was hiding under her till and heard gunshots ringing out all around her and she heard the steps of the killer coming towards her. He looked her in the eye and he said, aren't you dead yet, and fired again. She said, aiming to kill her. After that, for more than four hours, she had to follow his instructions at gunpoint, hoping to keep herself and her fellow hostages alive. As she was forced to close the metal shutters, sealing off the front of the store, she said to herself, she told the court, that I was burying us all alive. And she described inside the store as being like a war zone, as him having brought an arsenal of weapons, the like of which she'd never been be seen before, Kalashnikov's pistols, a knife, dynamite, and that she had to walk around the store, stepping over the dead bodies of the four men he'd killed there, stepping over pools of blood until at last police stormed the building, rescuing them. Today, she said she still suffers from a huge amount of survivor's guilt, saying that for four hours and four minutes, she didn't sustain as much as a scratch, whereas others were killed within seconds as if they were just objects. And she described the gunman, Amadi Koulibaly, as being very cold, very calm, and saying that those in the store were targeted because they were the two things he hated the most, French and Jewish. Now, the court has also heard from some of the families of the four victims who were killed in the attack. Again, I imagine it was very tough for both themselves and those hearing what they had to say in the courtroom, Catherine. It absolutely was, not it? It was an extremely tough morning listening to them giving evidence. There were tears throughout the courtrooms and the auditoriums where people had gathered to, to listen to their accounts. We heard from family members of some of those uh, victims, the four men who were killed inside the Ipek Asher, again, uh, Johan Cohen, Philippe Bram, Michel Sada and Yoav uh, Tab. And uh, Johan Cohen's father said that his life and his family's lives had also ended on the day when his 20-year-old son, who was an employee of the kosher supermarket, had been shot dead very emotional scenes, as well as the widow of Philip Brown spoke out in court. She said that her husband had been the pillar of her life and that now, five and a half years on, she was still afraid, too afraid to take her three children out to a park or to a birthday party or a gathering. She said that now people know what it's like to live under lockdown. Well, she'd been living under lockdown for nearly six years and she broke down giving evidence at the court and said that she could never forgive. Catherine Norris-Trent reporting there from the court. Thank you.